Hi, my name is Paul and I'm an app developer at AppWord and in this video we're going to talk about screen buttons. Screen buttons are buttons that you can use throughout your application and based on the different design and custom scripting that you provide, it can perform a wide variety of functionalities. So as you can see here in this inspections application, there are many different buttons. Um, there's a filter, there's an add, hide, archive, delete, and so on and so forth. So uh, in order for me to show you how much customization and functionality that a button can have, I provided this pop-up example. So let me open the screen design here. And from the top down to the fourth, we can see the uh, standard button. And we do also provide standard configurations, but you are not solely limited to these four types of buttons. So we have a dark close button, a white close button, a dark style button, and a white style button. And as you can see here, I did also create a small external link button here. So let me just create another button to show you the different types of customization that I can have. So for here on this name, um, this is just going to be the naming convention for this specific button. So we'll name it button example. Um, this does not change the name of the button here, but it changes the name of the button right here. So it says button example. And in order for me to change the caption, you would come right here down to the caption line and let's change this to example. And as you can see, this button name did change to example based on this. Now we're not solely limited to um, words. Uh, as you can see here, uh, let's erase this caption since we're going to use an icon instead. For the width, we'll do like a 20 by 20. We can go down to the image, double click and a separate pop up should show. Yes. And let's do a quick pencil. Right, so once I click it, and as you can see, there's a little pencil icon for this button. Now, I also did mention the different customization that you can have for the scripting of a button. So once we go here, we'll go down to the after click method. And let's just write a quick function. Um, let's pull up a user resource function. So let's see, use a resource, we have a shared functions and notifications, and there's a func message. Now, the text that we provide, we'll use uh, hello world. And a caption, this caption is associated with this uh, caption right here. So let's say hello. All right, and we won't have any other listeners or any else of these different options, so we can just leave them all as blank. We can save this, and we'll also save it here just in case. And once I click on this button, we should have hello world with hello as the caption. So thank you for joining us in this video, and we hope to see you soon.